10 Signs and Symptoms of Hypersexual Disorder What is hypersexual disorder? According to a proposed definition for the DSMV, it's defined as a sexual desire disorder with an impulsivity component. In 2010, the American Psychiatric Association released a draft of symptoms that may define sex addiction, formerly known as hypersexual disorder. Number 1. Excessive Masturbation Excessive masturbation is one of the most common early sex addiction signs. Psych Central reports that it's about how you're living your life instead of how often you masturbate. As long as masturbation remains simply a part of your life and does not take over daily activities, then you don't have a problem. People with hypersexual disorder often masturbate to escape problems in their lives or relationships, and they usually masturbate during other sexual activity, like viewing pornography or talking to a phone sex operator. Obsession with sex Hypersexual disorder causes its patients to become obsessed with sex to the point that it takes over their lives. They spend an extraordinary amount of time fantasizing about their sexual urges and engaging in sexual behavior. Dr. Stephen J. C.A., a clinical psychologist in the U.S., explains that sexual obsessions are very common in people suffering from obsessive compulsive disorder (OCD). These sexual obsessions involve unwanted thoughts, ideas, impulses, or images focusing on sexual content. While individuals with hypersexual disorder feel guilt, shame, hopelessness, and depression, individuals with OCD and sexual symptoms see themselves as disgusting, deviant, or evil. Excessive Time Planning Sexual Activity Just like drug addicts, sex addicts will spend a lot of time figuring out where and how they will get their next fix. As hypersexual disorders puts it, this can also become harmful if it takes over other aspects of their lives. For example, addicts usually prioritize planning sexual activity over work or personal relationships. Frequent viewing of pornography. Whether it's videos, adult magazines, websites, chat rooms, or webcams, people with hypersexual disorder view pornography in a variety of ways. They may also use dating websites to connect with others who are interested in sexual relationships. It is important to note, however, that porn addiction is not the same as sex addiction. Porn addiction is a type of sex addiction, but it has its own causes and symptoms independent from sex addiction. According to psychguides.com, porn addiction is not yet an official diagnosis in the DSMV, but it can lead to serious consequences. Frequent use of phone sex services. Similar to pornography, sex addicts will often turn to phone sex services to satisfy their needs. This is because phone sex provides addicts with some form of human contact, taking it a step further from masturbation and pornography. The use of phone sex services can sometimes escalate into hiring prostitutes, reckless sexual activity, substance abuse during sexual activity, sexual aggression, or dangerous sexual behavior like autoerotic asphyxiation having multiple sex partners, and frequent one-night stands. In order to remain satisfied, sex addicts often have multiple sex partners and have frequent one-night stands. This can be problematic, as studies have shown that there is a correlation between the number of sex partners and one's mental health. Interestingly, researchers have found that the chances of developing substance dependence increased with the number of sex partners that participants had this correlational relationship was particularly stronger in women. However, the researchers also noted that casual relationships usually stem from lack of emotional fulfillment. Thus, people in these relationships may turn to substance abuse to self-medicate. Staying emotionally detached from sexual partners. Sex addicts are unable to establish and maintain normal, healthy connections with their partners so they often avoid becoming emotionally attached to their sexual partners. A survey done of more than 1,000 people in 2013 showed that having an emotional connection makes better sex. However, sex addicts lack the emotional intimacy and vulnerability that is needed to develop a real connection, so they often have mindless, meaningless, emotional sex with their sexual partners. Engaging in sexual behavior that directly conflicts with personal values. The McKinley Health Center states 
that it is extremely important to know what your sexual values are, which may not match those of your parents, religion, or culture. For sex addicts, this causes a strong internal conflict. While some sex addicts may be devoutly religious, they will still find it hard to stop and resist sexual activity because they are highly addicted. This causes a cycle where they cannot stop but continue to engage in sexual activity to fulfill their needs. They might even progress into having multiple partners or extramarital partners, frequent one-night stands, and sex with prostitutes. Frequently engaging in paraphilias Sex addicts often engage in paraphilias which are sexual behaviors that are considered unusual or unacceptable. These include exhibitionism, voyeurism, sadism, masochism, and pedophilia. Exhibitionism involves exposing one's genitals or sexual organs to a stranger, according to Psychology Today. Voyeurism involves having sexual fantasies, urges, or behaviors regarding the act of observing a person who is naked, getting undressed, or engaging in sexual activities. Voyeurism became formally known as voyeuristic disorder in the DSM-IV. Sadomasochism is sexual activity in which one person enjoys inflicting pain on another person, who derives pleasure from experiencing pain. Lastly, pedophilia is when one experiences sexual feelings towards children. Inability to stop One of the primary signs of a sex addict is an inability to stop despite the consequences. These consequences may be financial, social, health, or emotionally related. For example, being addicted to sex could begin to affect performance at work, which could result in unemployment. Being addicted to sex is also a costly addiction because addicts spend on sex through prostitution, online sex services like sexual fantasy chat rooms or phone sex services. In terms of health consequences, sex addicts' promiscuity can lead to unwanted pregnancy or STDs. Hypersexual disorder or sex addiction is a serious disorder that affects nearly 12 million people in the United States. This number is increasing due to the availability of sexual material online, as well as the increase in sexual chat rooms and webcam services. If you are suffering from hypersexual disorder or if you know someone who is, try to find a Sex Addicts Anonymous group nearby or visit sexhelp.com to find a certified therapist near you. Leave a like and a comment if you found this information informative, and we'll see you in the next video.